Hello and welcome to another edition of Back in Shape with T. I'm Tarashe and today we are going to continue on to the second part of our training series. What we're doing is the simple exercises to help build up tone in the arms. So last time we did biceps and triceps. All I'm doing now is simply building on to that by adding one more element to that workout. So I'm gonna warm up first with the exercise that we're gonna do first, which is overhead shoulder press. We're gonna do 10 here, one, all the way down with me, two, three, four, five. Take your time, get your dumbbells if you need to. Six, seven, I'm gonna hold it here until you get your dumbbells. Eight, nine, 10. I'll do one more and I'll wait for you to do at least 10. 11, and I'm gonna come down really, really slow while you pump out your 10 repetitions. All right, so we're gonna do three sets of 10 on the shoulder press. Get our light weights done and grab our heavy weights. We're keeping it very simple. Again, I'm back to my 35s with these. All right, first set together. Grab your working set. Let's do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My goal with this particular series is to have you do this every other day. So if you did the first part on a Monday, this one Wednesday, and as we build up and do our last part, you'll do the next one on Friday. So every other day for this week or the week that you're jumping in on this, give this a shot. This is something that we wouldn't normally do. This is, although it's simple exercises, we are shaking it up a bit. Let's get set for set number two with your working weight. We're going for 10. Oh, I did the elliptical this morning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. I did a half hour elliptical training this morning. I might suggest that you do whatever you need to do for a half hour. If it means going for a great walk in the morning, riding a stationary bike, even if you can ride your own bike, get your heart rate up. My heart rate was hovering between 128 and 141, so it was a really good sweat this morning. Uh, and I don't know what would be appropriate for you. I would say use the rate of perceived exertion. So I'll make it simple on you. On a scale of one to 10, if 10 feels like an easy stroll to the bathroom and back, I'm sorry, if one feels like an easy stroll to the bathroom and back, and 10 feels like you're being chased by a lion through your house, you should be working out at around about a seven, eight, 7.5, okay? That's how you perceive the exertion. All right, let's go 10 again. Last set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with me, 10. That's all I'm asking for is 10. All right, good. From there, we're gonna go, instead of regular curls, we'll go three sets of hammer curls, three sets of 10, neutral grip. Let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, up. Uh. Squeeze the muscles. Seven, down nice and smooth. Seven, eight, eight, 
nine, nine, look at this lift, up, 10, nice and tight, and 10. Oh, we give you a quick healthy tip here. If you feel like that's too much of a stress on the elbow because you may have a little bit of lateral epicondylitis or uh, some pain in the elbow, just do them with the palms facing up or vice versa. If you feel like you're having elbow stress with the palms facing up, try them in the neutral position. Sometimes it one or the other will feel more comfortable. So all I want you to do is to do what makes you feel comfortable. All right, let's go set number two. Here we go. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight, nine, nine, and ten, and ten. A nice moderate speed here. Wasn't going too slow, not too fast. I'm using a weight that I have to use basically no momentum on, almost zero momentum whatsoever. It's a little bit of body English, but not very much. Keeping the stomach pulled in tight. I'm making sure that the arms come up all the way and come down all the way too. I'm not doing one of these jerk motions where my arm is staying bent. I'm coming down. I'm trying not to super lock out the elbow because I don't want any elbow stress. So if I had to give you a tip, I would say come down 90 to 95% of the way, you'll be fine. Even if you came down 85% of the way, but that's all subjective. The bottom line is try to protect your elbow. Last set. One. One, two, three, look at that. Two, you see where I am? Three, as opposed to all the way out here. Three, Four, it's like 95% of the way down. Four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Whew. All right, and I'm gonna have to warm up my elbows yet again for the triceps like we did before. I'm gonna take the light weights, but I'm not gonna do very many reps. I'm just gonna do five reps. So take your light weight, let's go overhead and just do five. One, two, three, four, five. I love to warm up the elbows before I jump into the working weight. One, two, three, four, five. All right, nice and warm. All right, and we're gonna start off. 10 repetitions, abs tight. One, all the way down. Two, range of motion's important. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Watch that arm bend. Look at that. Ten. All right. Half a set. One is done. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So, the la the first video in the series it was bicep curls, tricep extensions back to back. Now, as you can do, what we're doing is station training. The first station was three sets of shoulder press. Second station, 
three sets of hammers, third station, back to tricep overhead extension. So without supersetting, we're doing a giant set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bend those elbows, nine, one more, 10, Whew. second arm, get it set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, although it's a different pattern, we're using the same exercises plus one that we did a couple of days ago or in the last video. This is a very simple technique for giving both variety and consistency. What does that mean? The variety is I added an extra element. Consistent means I basically kept the same movements, elbow flexion and tricep extension, but adding that one extra element gives the body exactly what it needs to shock the system. And although I wouldn't do something like this in a series every week, it's fun to kind of manipulate all of the variables so that you don't get bored, your body doesn't get bored, and you are keeping it super simple, but very effective. Last set. One, two, three, four, five, get down there. Six, good stretch, seven, stretch, eight, nine, one more, 10. As I explained to you in the last video, the eccentric contraction, the negative move, the going down, more muscle action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, Ooh, 10, that fatigue is set in. All right, three exercises, three sets of 10, keeping it very simple, a great way to build on what we did last time, quality and consistency.